Russia is saving its air force and not throwing it into the meat grinder of the war in Ukraine as zealously as it is doing with its ground forces. The Kremlin is probably saving this resource for a future war against NATO, says experts interviewed by Business Insider. John Baum, an air power expert at the Mitchell Institute and a retired U.S. Air Force lieutenant colonel, noted that the Russians could bring more sophisticated aircraft to the fight, but they just haven't done it yet. In particular, Russia has not yet used its modern Su-57 aircraft, which is positioned by the Kremlin as an analogue of the American F-35 in active operations. According to known information, this aircraft has only launched missiles from Russian territory several times, but has not flown into Ukrainian airspace. This is despite the fact that this aircraft, according to its concept, should operate in enemy airspace. That is why it is positioned as invisible. Russia uses a lot of its air power, but you don't see a lot of Russian air power over Ukraine, said Andrew Curtis, an independent defense researcher and former Royal Air Force officer. He stressed that Russia uses the Su-57 in a way that is risk-free. In his view, the reason for this is simply that they want to make sure that they maintain a credible modern air force for any future operations that they may want to conduct. And that in itself is quite significant because it shows that at least someone in the Kremlin is thinking about more than just Ukraine, Curtis said. Michael Clark, a Russia and Ukraine expert and Britain's national security advisor, said Russia was to some extent sacrificing the effectiveness of its forces in Ukraine to preserve vital assets for a possible future conflict. If the Russians were throwing everything that they had at Ukraine, they would probably be in a stronger, better position than they are now, he said. Clark noted that Russia is protecting its aircraft because it understands that if it gets too deeply stuck in Ukraine, there will be nothing left if it comes to some kind of conflict with NATO. The top US commander in Europe, General Christopher Cavoli, told Congress in April that Russia had lost only about 10% of its air force in Ukraine. That means it still has plenty left in its air force arsenal. Peter Leeton, a fellow at the Griffith Asia Institute and a former Royal Australian Air Force officer, said Russia could well have a future NATO conflict in mind when making decisions today. For example, Russia might believe that in a war with NATO, its air force could survive long enough to withstand some NATO airstrikes and help protect Russian ground forces in the short term. Such a plan would require not squandering assets in Ukraine. A person was killed in their home in wildfire that torched six square kilometers of land in Colorado's Lyons Town, local authorities said on Wednesday, as almost 100 large blazes burned across the western U.S. The person's remains were discovered in one of five homes that burned, Boulder County Sheriff Curtis Johnson said without providing further details. The fire has prompted evacuation in the fire zone, with at least five structures being destroyed, according to authorities. It was one of several large fires burning along Colorado's densely populated area in Front Range. The Stone Canyon fire burning west of Rabbit Mountain and the town of Lyons was first reported around 2 p.m. on Tuesday. However, by Wednesday morning, the fire had grown to 1,320 acres and was 0% contained, according to the Boulder Office of Disaster Management. Yet another wildfire in Colorado was reported on the Alexander Mountain near Roosevelt National Park where Blaze torched 6,781 acres by Wednesday afternoon, fire officials said. The fire was 0% contained as of Wednesday afternoon, according to the sheriff's office. Thank you.